So you want to make a unicorn in Blender. The first thing you need to do is grab some sparkles, grab a horn, and most importantly, grab a whole lot of love. Hey guys, I'm Matt by Kyle Kind. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to go ahead and create a GIF in Blender, which is crazy because we haven't done that before. Super cool stuff. So the first thing we need to do is we need to obviously make the animation. So let's go ahead and just I'm just gonna drag a box over top of everything and just I uh, hit delete, delete all that, and then just make a new camera here and just move it back by hitting G, Y, and zero to go into the camera's view. Now, with all this done, I want to go ahead and make sure that everything is um, a square because I want it to be a square for this specific um, for this specific tutorial. I'm going to make it 500 by 500 um, just because it's, I don't know, it is what it is. And then what I want to do here is I want to make a um, a plane, rotate this up, which is to make a really quick like gif like thing because this does not matter uh a, any animation obviously will work we just need to go ahead and make a animation so let's go ahead and just really quickly see if i can go ahead and get a um a nice like color changing thing going on here let's start with like a nice red i guess um have my cursor over top of that hit i and then gonna maybe like frame i don't know frame 20 change it to like yellow hover i frame 40 We'll go like green, whatnot. Yeah, there you go. And then um, maybe frame 60, we'll go back to red or something like that. Maybe we'll go more around the world than this area. We'll fix this up a bit. And 40, we'll go like, blue. there we go. Okay, cool. This is perfect. Nice. Sweet. Now, because I don't want to, I don't feel like waiting for this to render, we're going to make it much faster by just scaling it all down like that. All right, and then 30 perfection there we go so next we have 30 frames of an animation now which is crazy we can actually make this even shorter to be honest with you something like uh this and make the in frame 15 there we go so that's perfect actually that's exactly what i wanted um let's go ahead and choose an output so let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is make sure it says file format png obviously because we're going to be rendering some images now the first thing that i want to do is go ahead and let me see if i can find a folder to put all this in i'm gonna go ahead and put this in a folder called um color gif yeah nice cool um and then what we're gonna do is gonna hit accept on that and then we're gonna go ahead and just uh place them in there we call this uh we're not gonna give it a name it's fine it'll give itself a name all right cool so when it renders we can go ahead and render animation boom as you can see, it is rendering that animation super, super quick. It rendered out 15 images, um, one image for each frame. And now, because GIMP unfortunately, GIMP, because Blender unfortunately does not have GIF rendering capabilities, we need to transfer all of this to a photo manipulation program. Which, and now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find all those uh, uh, pictures that we just created, and then we're gonna open up GIMP, which is obviously a photo manipulation program that we can um, create this GIF in because Blender unfortunately does not have the ability to render uh, GIFs, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and grab the first image. Don't grab all of them and drag them all at the same time because they will create separate images. Drag the first one in and then go ahead and select the rest of them. Hold down shift, control, whatever you got to do. And then just drag the rest of them in. And as you can see, it will drag them in as layers over here on the right hand side. Um, and that is crazy, awesome, very cool. So it should drag in 15 different pictures. And once that's done, you can see that we have all of them in right about three two one there we go so we now have all of these pictures in here as you can see they're all the different colors of the rainbow because i know nice we can go ahead and go up to file and then export as and now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and um create a gif so what we're going to do is we're going we're to call this zero 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 uh dot uh dot gif gif whatever you prefer i suppose as you can see, we can go ahead and do that. And once we hit export, it'll open up with this second dialog right here. And it'll ask us some information about the GIF we want to create. So we're going to make sure this says as animation, obviously, or else it won't be an animation. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we go ahead and make sure loop forever is checked. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make sure that we want to have 100 milliseconds. You can change this value, obviously, when you play around with it yourself to see how fast you want it to go. Um, but 100 milliseconds is completely fine for me. And then frame disposal where unspecified. So essentially what this means is if you had transparency in your GIF, um, if you had any transparency, you would have to make it so that it was one frame per layer. 
which was which is it's going to replace the frame under and above it so essentially it's going to only look at the frame that you that you have so whatever's on each layer is what it's going to show but we also have cumulative layers which is uh it's going to combine everything so every single layer is going to stack on top of each other if you have some transparency so for something like this it doesn't not matter at all because every frame is completely a new image but if you did have any transparency and you don't want it to stack up and like just have all of the transparent images just stack on top of each other do make sure that you have one frame per layer on which is a big 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 thing so that i'm gonna just say i don't care for this because it does not matter because we have no transparency um but yeah so let's go ahead and hit export and as you can see once we do that it's going to open up this gif image right here on the side and as you can see it is now a gif and it plays as a gif very very cool stuff hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial super basic but super super helpful I'm going to try and come up with some very, very um, simple and easy, basic tutorials. If you're new to the channel, I make tutorials here every single week, three times a week. If I'm uh, if I'm on the ball, um, pumping out content for you guys. But I will see you in the next tutorial. Subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate all the love and support, guys, and all the videos. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.